Hello everybody, my name is Claire Shorenstein. I am a sports dietitian and endurance athlete and I am here with another product review for you today. So we are gonna be talking about Spring Energy's reformulated awesome sauce today and I'm also gonna be mentioning a few of their other products. Now why am I talking about this? It's because Spring Energy recently announced that they redid and fixed all of their, the issues in their products and um, I just had to comment on it because uh, quite frankly, these products really do not do not serve our community well. And in my opinion, I think they rushed to put something out there rather than putting a little more thought into what we actually needed. So let's go over the why. If you remember, um, you know, Awesome Sauce's whole claim to fame was that it was a high carbohydrate, low fat product that was just an easy, tasty way, well, tasty to some people, I guess, um, <laughs> a way to get a good amount of carbohydrates in that you could just take one after the other, right? As athletes, as endurance athletes, we have high carbohydrate needs, you know, specifically we're getting, we want at least 60 grams per hour and we don't want that much fat. Yes, fat has a place, especially in ultra endurance sport, but typically uh, we're going for a lot of carbohydrates, a small amount of protein, fat here and there as needed, desired, tolerated, especially in the long, long distances. Yes, we're including some fat, but when we're talking about the stuff that we're taking every single hour, like gels, like sports drink, et cetera, we mostly want carbs. We don't really want lots of fat. Why is that? Because too much fat, it sits in the stomach and cause GI issues. Uh, that's not what we're going for. So uh, they took this product, uh, which as we all know, uh, was not actually 45 grams of carbohydrate. And they ended up, um, instead of, for instance, just creating a slightly lower carb product and leaving it at that and keeping it the same type of product, i.e. a mostly carbohydrate product, they decided that it was important to them to match the old calorie amount. It used to be 180 calories, that was the old product, and they decided it still had to be 180 calories. So how did they do that? They did that by adding fat, specifically from MCT oil and avocado oil. Um, it now has seven grams of fat per gel. Uh, that doesn't sound like that much, but it actually is a lot, especially if you're taking more than one, you know, more than one gel per hour. And again, if we're trying to get 60 grams of carbs, at least that per hour, then you know, if you're taking more of that, it just becomes a problem. We don't want 14 grams of fat per hour, no thank you. So even seven grams might be a little tough to tolerate for some people. And then if we're looking at say road runners or people who might be going really high intensity, that fat is probably not the best idea. Now everyone's different, but again, we're talking generalizations, general recommendations, typically fat is really not what we're going for. So this product, in my opinion, really missed the mark. Um, it has 28 grams of, carbo of carbohydrate, which I have no issue with. Again, if they had just been like, cool, we're just gonna do like a 30-ish gram product and maybe they could have made it a little higher or not um, and left it at that, fine. Again, I have no idea what this tastes like. I'm not tasting it, so for all I know, maybe it tasted disgusting if they left out the oil, I don't know. Um, but as it stands, this is not a product that serves our community and our community's needs. And especially when we look at the full array of their products. So it used to be that Awesome Sauce and Canterbury and maybe it was Long Haul, I forget, but mostly Awesome Sauce was the standalone product that was the higher carbohydrate one amidst the sea of either too low carb or too high fat products. Speed Nut's really high, I think it's 19 grams of fat. Um, and you know some of their other products just had a lot of fat. So if we look at it now, um, you know, I'm looking at say Canterbury right now. So it has coconut oil in it. Um, you know, as you may know, Hill Aid and Canterbury were amongst the other ones that were tested and found to be off in terms of nutrition. Um, so Canterbury still has low carbohydrate or low-ish, it's 17 grams. That's not very high for a gel, but you know, it's or standard, I guess, a little lower than the standard, let's say. And it has three grams of fat. So that may not sound like very much and you know, it might be fine. But again, think about how low carb that is. It's pretty low carb. These gels are still $4.50 each. That's just so much money. Um, so I, I just don't think these gels are worth it. Um, and I also, again, don't think that they serve uh, the community well. Now, if you go to say long haul, so that's another one of their gels that uh, you know you could take. And um, so I'm just clicking on this one. Okay, so long haul, that one has 5.7 grams per gel of fat. 
and it has only 19 grams of carbs. So again, we're thinking about the context in which these things are taken. So if you were taking maybe like one of those gels and you're only taking one an hour, every hour and a half, and you have super high carb, low fat, zero fat products, Maybe this is okay if you enjoy these things, um, you know, but I personally am not recommending this approach. I just don't think it's worth doing. I think there are so many other great products out there on the market that for this price point, and then given their history of everything, I that's how I feel about that. Um, and then if you go to things like Wolfpack, for instance, and off the top of my head, I'll be honest, I don't remember what the um the nutrition profile was and especially in terms of fat amount so for all i know wolfpack was always this high but wolfpack has i think it has like 17 19 let's see it has oh, no wrong one um wolfpack is uh, where is it i'm losing it oh actually let me talk about hill aid real fast so yeah hill aid so yeah that one's 20 grams of carbohydrate and three and a half grams of, of fat so again um it's not super high in fat, but if we're trying to layer these things, that's a real issue. Um, and then if we're talking about, I lost the Hillade on here. Oh, here, no, <laughs> oh, here it is. Um, yeah, so yeah, so the Wolf Pack is 17 grams of fat. So I guess if you're doing like kind of a meal replacement style of thing, you know, has 39 grams of carbohydrate, maybe that's not so bad, but you really have to figure out what your tolerance to fat is. And again, when looking at the overall picture of what your fueling plan is, these aren't products that I'd be saying, hey, let's use this as like a real staple of what you're doing, which what that was what Awesome Sauce used to be. It used to be more of this like staple kind of product, much like a sports drink where you could just take it all, you know, and, and get your carbs in. So. Um, so yeah, I, I personally think that they really missed the mark on this, that, um, I mean, I think they've acknowledged that they kind of botched their whole reaction to everything, but I really wish that they had uh, been a little bit more thoughtful about how they reformulated Awesome Sauce. Uh, I wish they had rec you know, recognized what this product was and what the purpose of it was, because instead all they did is just match it to all their other products. So. I'm done with Spring Energy. I will not be recommending um, Awesome Sauce or any of their other products. If a client comes to me loving them and using them, fine, but I'm not going out of my way, my way to recommend those things. So that's where I stand on Spring Energy. If you have any questions, let me know, but Spring Energy, as far as I'm concerned, is not Claire Shorenstein approved.